Hey guys, bloody your undress, or you can also call me undress. It's totally up to you. Hope you guys are having a pretty good day. Let's get on to the story. A little bit of a background. I used to have a girlfriend. She's now my ex-girlfriend. And we dated for like six years, you guys. And she dumped me. She doesn't talk to me any anymore. I think it's because I really did care about her. But I think the fact that my penis is too big and veiny just kind of scared her off. So that's probably what it was. Anyways, throughout those six to seven years that of, of dating, me and her probably made love. Somewhere between 400 to 20,000 times. I know it's a big range. It's a pretty wide range, but it's somewhere in there. If not, maybe a little more. And the other night, I was feeling kind of lonely, if you know what I mean. And I was by myself. And I decided to think about her. Wink, wink. And as I was having that little special session going on, a thought came to my mind. And it was a pretty scary thought, you guys. I realized that even though I had sex with her that many times, I probably wore a condom about nine times. Think about that, you guys. That is insane. That is ridiculous. I think about it, and I cannot measure how stupid I was. I mean, first of all, you got your STDs, all those human viruses and diseases. You got to you gotta be careful with those guys. STDs aren't like Pokemon, you guys. You don't have to catch them all. But I thought about it, and I was like... How the hell am I not a dad by now? And I'm kind of grateful. But it's it's true. And then a scary thought came to my mind. I was like, what if there's something wrong with my body? What if there's something not working properly in my manly organs? And they're taking away my ability to reproduce. So I hopped onto this one really cool website that a lot of people use. It's been around for like 10 or 15 years. It's called Google. And I didn't want to read, so I just clicked on images. And there was a little picture, a little drawing of a dude using his thumbs and his fingers to feel around for little bumps on his balls. And that's what I did. My left ball, smooth. Clean as a whistle. Nothing wrong there. However, my right ball towards the top where it's attached to that little thing it's hanging off from, there were three really small bumps, you guys. And when I felt them, I didn't panic. I didn't get scared or anything. I just, I just, it was weird. I just accepted the fact that I might have cancer. Now, if the doctor would have said that, I don't know what would have happened. But at that point in time, I actually had f accepted that fact. Okay. So, the next day, I told my sister about it. And I don't know why the hell I told my sister about it. I mean, she's in the medical field, but she's a dental assistant. She doesn't know anything about balls. And, <laughs> and she was like, you better go to the doctor, Andres. And I was like, all right, cool. Called my the clinic up, set up a physical, and my doctor saw me, and it was it was the first time I saw this doctor, I never saw this doctor before, he was an Asian guy, he was an Asian, and he's bald, he was bald, and he did a regular checkup on me, you know, regular physical, he checked my, my heart rate, my, my, uh, my breathing, my blood, whatever, he checked all that, and at the end, I was like, you know what? I have one more concern. I think I may have ball cancer. And he was like, well, it's a good thing you told me about it because otherwise I never check the balls unless you ask. And I was like, yay. <laughs> That's a good thing then. 
and I dropped my pants, and there he was just looking at my balls. His face was like six inches away from me, and I couldn't find the bumps, you guys. <laughs> and the cold, the air was cold, and my wiener was shriveled up. And at the end, he was like, you know what? I've seen ball cancer many, many times, and you got nothing to worry about. And so, I don't have ball cancer, after all. Or kid. So I guess that's a win-win situation. Moral of the story? Always put the helmet on the soldier. See you guys later. Bye.